Well, shalom, ladies and gentlemen. This is Kazoo Cruiser on uh, Sabbat, um, Saturday, 21st of uh, April, 2018. And uh, this is a little how-to in case you put one of these trucks together on uh, how to adjust the ignition timing. Um, these are pointless ignitions, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, but the early models you did, um, they, uh, they upgraded with the electronic ignition. Uh, so you don't have to think about that anymore, but you still have to time the basic timing and the, um, this is one of the tools that you can use. Uh, I'll show you where it goes. This is an offset. It's a 9 sixteenths um, offset wrench, box end offset. And it's hard to find these someplace. You might, um, you might, have, you might have fun. This is an antique, kind of like me. Uh, but what we're going to be doing this for, we're using this wrench, and this is just a preliminary video. I don't know if you can, let me set this down. There's a lot of traffic going past here, so you might have to listen to some, some frost chatter. Yeah. Okay, here we go. That's the neighborhood I live in. I'm sorry about that. Doing a wheelie down the street, doesn't care, he's 15 years old or stupid or something. Uh, anyway, this this little pointer here, you see the little screwdriver. It's going to be going in to where that end of the screwdriver is, and you can't hardly see it. But the wrench goes in there. Goes in there and... and um, Loosens the uh, loosens that bolt, and you want to loosen that bolt while the engine's not running uh, because you've, you've got the fan over here and it's it's rotating, and you don't want to catch your arms and belts and, uh, and, and things that are rotating and stuff. And you got to be very careful, there's nothing safe about an automotive engine. Um, people think that there's a lot of room to work on this one, but it's dangerous, this is like a tractor. And I'm just going to give you a how-to on how to adjust the timing on it. And that way it's an archive on YouTube for people that have these things and don't know the first thing about how to set them up. Um, that's the distributor, of course. Some of you know what that is. Uh, we're going to be rotating that uh, at that base once we loosen up that plate. That allows us to hook up a timing gun, a timing light. And I'll show you how to do that with the next video. This is the battery. It's got a color, color mark post. The red one on the upper right, and the, uh, the black ones on the lower left with the color impaired uh, folks in the audience. Uh, and then we'll be using that to hook up to uh, the number one spark plug here. And it's an it's an inductive timing light, so it'll it's it's supposed to work in both directions, but sometimes they're um, you have to reverse them on the on the wire to make them sure that they work. And then the, the timing mark is is down. Well, you can see the scale. The, I don't have it lined up, but that's okay. This is a static video. It's just setting up for the timing. Um, but there's a there's a gauge down there to the left. You can see this circle. Um, the circle, and they used to install. You can put a probe down there, some kind of way to 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 capture the. Uh, top dead center because it's a slot in the uh, it's actually been cut into the pulley and it comes up and it matches a mark on that scale and uh, well, I'll be showing you how to adjust that up and one nice thing about using a, a, a vacuum advanced timing like like the one I have is that it allows you to test the various vacuum functions uh, and centrifugal advances within the distributor itself and so it's a wonderful test diagnostic tool uh, and you don't know about the difference between them uh, you'll just tune into part two of this video and hopefully um, we'll learn something about this stuff and that's real valuable thanks uh, for watching this is kazoo cruiser and i'm out